We're right on schedule. Yeah, stuff like that. Let's see, yeah. Uh, mobile and internet. Are you guys the Wendell Post band? Congratulations. No, um, that's a good name. It sort of sticks in your head. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but it does. Oh, jeez. Uh, I was going to do the big thing about how, what would have happened if Dean Martin had gotten rid of Jerry Lewis and gotten Jerry Lee Lewis instead. All right. Yeah, so Dean and Jerry visited every mean, low-down, honky-tonk dive this side of the Pecos River and wild tornadoes with their inspired blend of drunken cocktail singing and red-hot piano playing. I think brevity is the soul of wit. But I am going to do one other song. Um, it's called, I Like the Grateful Dead Because They Don't Do Shit. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get the chorus right. It's like all in a different... They're coming to your town in a psychedelic gown. And if they had a brain, they'd play with it. Admitting it is scary, but they're very ordinary. I like the Grateful Dead because they don't do shit. I listen to Chuck Berry, my underarms are hairy. I'm reaching for another little hit. Their, their leader's name is Jerry, he's very ordinary. I like the Grateful Dead because they don't do shit. I ran away from home, my parents were abused. If I came back, they're sure to have a fit. Their songs are very scary, but very ordinary. I like the Grateful Dead because they don't do shit. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you all. Now it wasn't Marcia, but it was someone with a similar sounding six letter name who was to be second. Miriam? Miriam. Oh, Miriam, I Miriam, where is that Miriam? Gosh darn her. Oh. She's probably off buying those little Valentine candies with messages from the 1920s, like, you know, 23 Skidoo, whatnot. Okay. Miriam, are you here? Miriam? Well, okay. Oh, I don't know. Not a Grateful Dead fan. Not a Grateful Dead fan? Well, neither am I. They have their own rules, you know, for their security. Well, they just sort of fit all the deals. The security rules for the Grateful Dead concerts are, just let the people stand in the aisles and dance and listen to the music and they will do whatever you ask them to, as long as you ask them in a very polite tone of voice. Because otherwise you might be like bringing them down from their trip. You know, they're surrounded by helicopters and police and they choose this venue to take an LSD trip and discover their true communion with nature inside of the Boston Garden with 7,000 million sweating. It smells like old hockey games. There's blood and teeth left over from the last basketball game. Yeah, and then the Grateful Dead have this big concert in the Boston Garden of all places. Really wonderful. And you know, the Dead are the highest paid entertainers in showbiz. They're like number 10 or number 11 or something like that. The things you discover by watching far too much television. And the things you disclose about yourself by babbling on at far too great a length. In the absence of Miriam, however, I guess we'll simply have to proceed and... Gee, I don't know. Let's see, what do we got in the lineup here? Hey, Luca. Luca, are you here? No. Oh, my. Hey, Luca. Well, he's just as flighty as a jaybird. You scared him all the way. No. People sign up and then they split? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. This is very embarrassing. Um, how about Marsha? Marsha Harris? They're dropping, they're dropping like dominoes. Nobody wants to be second. What is this? Uh, Where's Miriam? Miriam. He was the first act. I was the first act. Well, yeah, something like music anyway. There was music. There's something that bothers me, Miriam. Why do they call it folk music when it uses 171 progressions, which are the most hellish and nightmarish progressions on the face of the planet? I don't know. I don't play folk. Oh, okay. 
Well, I guess you wouldn't know if you didn't play folk. But Miriam, whatever it is you do play, please come on up and regale us with the sample thereof. So after much delay, much more than any sane and rational individual would have liked or even allowed, uh, Miriam, let's give her a hand. Let's just play anyway. Well, while we're figuring out the monitors, I'm going to be at the channel tomorrow night with uh, the Nylons and Friday night at the channel with Carly Carter. And next Friday at the channel with, I think, some Boston bands. I'm not sure. Oh, monitor? we got monitor happening. Can I move the mic and see? we got feedback, too. Let's see. Check. This is good enough for me, if you guys can Is the guitar coming out there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, well, I can hear myself. You got the guitar? Or you got my guitar? We should just do this all acoustic.
falls hard in the rain Falls the harm my love awaits for me my second time. Um, this is a new one and uh, it's nice to have uh, this opportunity to, to try it because I was going to try it for the first time at the channel this far night. But... It's called uh, Another Night. If you guys want them, I'll, I'll be around. And Marcia's coming up next. And she's hot. Hot, hot. Marcia.
see in hers. <laughs> Just lukewarm. Goes like this. <laughs> Close to that, anyway. I'm trying to get this belt so that it's not like pressing against me. But that's what happens when you wear belts, you know. They press against you. All right, the song is called. Uh, the song is called. Um, I'm not sure what it's called yet. It's brand new. Like a medium. I don't like thin picks. I break. And here we go.
the tail and the honky? That was Marcia Harris. Please give her another really warm round of applause. As opposed to the cold and indifferent applause which characterizes the Boston area. You know, sort of like, you know. And the man who's clapping loudest in the front row is our next guest. And his name is Mr. Carl Haller, and he will be accompanied no, 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 no. by Greg. What? Greg's What's this? Not, Greg's not even here yet. Oh, Greg's not here. Then we better put Kip in here, huh? Sorry, Kip, man. Kip, are you here? He's in the bathroom throwing up, probably. I'll play on my belly, OK? I'll do some ragtime syncopations. Uh, maybe I'll do, um, what was that theme from The Sting? Do, 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 do. Uh, all right, yeah, anything but that, really. Uh, well, I guess I'm sort of in a vine, but I'll tell you what, there's somebody here who's playing over at TT's later on tonight, and I think he's sort of champing at the bit to get thrown on the stage and uh, be forced to, oh wait, 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 this changes everything. All right, we'll put Luca on. Luca, would you like to come on up? Let's get your shit. Oh, okay, Luca, please, yes. It is a bit of a psychic jolt to be suddenly called up when you expected to have eight minutes of tranquility and thinking of what you were gonna play in your hand. All of a sudden, dash of cold water. This man's name is Luco Adjati. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. And he plays quite a bit down on the east side of that fair municipality. And um, we're honored by his presence. And as I said earlier, he will be over at TT the Bears later tonight. If any of you care to come in and see him, tell him Luco sent you. So here he is. Give him a hand, please. Mr. Luco Adjati. Excuse me, did, did anybody have a, a pickup, like a guitar? I just play like that, I just play like that. Do you have the... This man's Mike Higgins, by the way. I'm not going to ask you to give him a hand, but he deserves one. He's our sound. So now here's our music, Luca. you want to uh yeah. yeah good evening and gentlemen my name is Luca Jaffe um, I'm coming from Haiti I just have a CD and tape out I have some posters selling at the TD the Bears I'm gonna be playing later on I'm just gonna play some French reggae original stuff. The first song I play is about my uncle who gave a lot of edu a lot of money for my education. He's a French song. Et ayant voulu aller au bout 
Je ne me rappelle jamais ces temps Lorsqu'au bon matin du printemps Tu me chantais un si beau chant Je regardais l'Orient Je me sentais tellement heureux Lorsqu'au bon matin du printemps Mon cas était en ce fait Du grand pays de sa carrière La boue est la paille de la terre Mais pas ni de la misère Il s'est pas vendu si fou Ayant pour lui aller en bout Et de jouer le tout pour le tout De voir le jour le plus doux Merci. I still need to put the microphone high. I'm tall. Six feet two, you know, that's the problem. Okay, now, uh, let's think about something else. not to mention that uh, this meltdown shirt signifies something very important. On October 31st, this television show will be airing a Halloween special to begin at 9.30 on Channel 55, and it will feature The Wrong Hero and Meltdown. And now that the product endorsement section is out of the way, let's introduce Carl and Greg. Carl Haar and Greg, who plays bass. Is that, is that a mega boogie amp? What, what kind of amp is that? I don't know. It's great. Looks like you can smuggle a Romanian in it. Or a Yugoslavian. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yugoslavia, or Yugo for that matter. Yeah. You'll we'll also be happy to know that the pistachios no longer come from Turkey. <laughs> Turkey is evil and they oppress people. And now all of our pistachios come from nice California. <laughs>
song called Me the Fool. Sunday since Kip has made a, an appearance down here. Well, maybe not a month of Sundays. Maybe just a month of a more mundane day, like Friday. But maybe not. Maybe it is a month of Sundays. Well, anyway, enough babbling. Kip. Let's give it up for Kip. Three quick ones. Screaming. 
to be where she can see all the things in front of thee. She thinks she's Venus the Milo, the goddess of love. And his name's Al Cox, and please, especially give it up for him. Ignore all the other people who just appeared, but like really give <laughs> Al a big hand. Thank you. How is everybody this evening? Good.
on this side. Testing. Test one, two. This first song is called Some People. Some people like to get a plane. Some people prefer a train. Some people don't travel at all. They think they're poor. Some people like playing baseball. Just uh, ad lib. Yeah. 
speak loud when you talk to Philip Roth, because a soft answer turneth away wrong. I know, well, that's my stock and trade. Joke's so bad, you can't believe it until you actually hear him. Well, anyway, uh, this is an ensemble, which I'm sure will be no joke if that, is that the mandolin you got there? No. But it sort of looks like one of them little old tater bugs. So, you know the evening's off to a promising start. Anyway, let me introduce them by name. The Model Kit. Let's give it up for them, the Model Kit.
Yeah, it's good. We're not called anything. Right? Sounds good. Stay tuned to see what we're called next time.
I kind of like that one myself, because I'm the wrong hero. I'm a cross between Pear Ubu and Donald Duck, because I hate everybody. I'm the son of Moloch and Fox, Michael J. Fox. I got Elvis's brains and Colonel Parker's sex appeal. <laughs> Why are you staring at my hat? Do you think I'm crazy? Well, I might be crazy for a comedian, but I'm totally rational for a superhero, which is what I am. See how I effortlessly li lift this thing? I may not be a pinup boy, but I got power. Those other comedians, they're just all salesmen. They're all out to sell you a laugh for a buck 99. I'm different. I profit from your misery. <laughs> and I admit it! I'm the wrong hero. What I do is so new, they don't have a name for it yet. Uh, Although ranting comes to mind. <laughs> no, I'm not like the other comics. I don't want to run with the crowd! I want the crowd to run from me! Yeah. And it's working! <laughs> Other comedians ask you for money. I ask you for your time, and I give you my life, and I want it back right now! <laughs> I'm the wrong hero. When I die, literally, I want to go to heaven so I can kill the Holy Ghost and take his name in the Trinity. I hate all the other heroes. I hate Bud Man. Man. And for that matter, haven't we seen enough of Jay Leno? Yeah. And I hate the Quaker Oats man. And for that matter, haven't we seen enough of Barbara Bush? Yeah. And I hate the Tonight Show. And for that matter, shouldn't they call it the I'm gonna stay up as late as I want and get totally drunk and plastered show? Or not? Maybe not. All right. All right. I'm the wrong hero, and I hate the Kennedys. The Kennedys are the only family in the world who could go overnight from being America's royalty to America's most despised minority. How do they do it? <laughs> I 
guess Ted Kennedy is finding out a simple home truth. Women are big pets that you can't control. They should have stuck with golden retrievers. <laughs> I would elect Ted Kennedy as president. If Gorbachev were a woman. <laughs> And I'm sick of Texas hogging the right to hate the Kennedys. For years, Texas had a monopoly on hating the Kennedys. They even came out with the anti-Kennedy, Lyndon Baines Johnson. But now it's time for the rest of us to make up for lost time and all hate the Kennedys in unison. Ted Kennedy's a Roman Catholic. Now, if he were a Mormon, it would be OK. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend called me on the phone. She didn't answer when I said hello. Maybe it has something to do with the way that I say hello. Hello! <laughs> oh. I'm the wrong here and I hate everybody, but I love one thing and that's the evening star. Yes, I love Venus. I love the evening star. I loved it from afar. So I married the evening star. I married Venus only to discover that the sun was my mother-in-law. <laughs> she was so fat, she blacked out the sun. Hell, she was the sun. She was so big, she had her own zip code. It got burned up in the sun. She was so big, it took two men and a boy to hug her. And they got burned up in the sun. She was so big, she sucked asteroids into her corona. That may sound dirty, but it ain't. Or is it? My girlfriend always says, stop and smell the roses. You know what I say to her? Stop and buy the roses, cheapskate! And throw away the flowers! And give the thorns to me! <laughs> or else somebody's gonna get a licking, and it won't be the kind that women like! <laughs> I like cable television. You want to know why? No. I prefer my sewage raw. Thank you. I'm sorry. I guess I'm shouting a little too loud for your sensitive ears. You only spend half your lives with your ears pressed up to a megaphone that broadcasts at 120 decibels, and I'm too loud. <laughs> It's not like I'm jet plane taking off like you rock bands like to do. Little trick they have. They even have it on your little Casio mini keyboards. Jet plane taking off. <laughs> wow, these guys are good because they're loud. Oh, boy, are they loud. <sighs> Gotta get the crud out of my head. That's how loud they are. Why did the Harvard graduate cross the road? You uh to get to the river. And why did the Harvard graduate cross the river? I don't know. To go to the business school. They're building a chapel at the Harvard Business School. That's sort of like putting a spittoon in a plugged up free hole outhouse. <laughs> I hate folk music. Folk music is the one genre every bit as oppressive as the injustice it is attempting to stamp out. What about the Grateful Dead? I like the Grateful Dead. Because <laughs> they don't do shit. People ask me why I wear a dress. And I tell them that my penis told me to. <laughs> I'm the wrong hero. I cured my hatred for the world by letting it consume me. I hate everything for the worst reasons because I hate all the best reasons because I hate everything because I'm the wrong yo. And you don't have to laugh if you don't want to. But I'll tell you one thing. I may be up here trying to be funny and you're not laughing. But when you're up there and you're not trying to be funny, I'm laughing my ass off! <laughs> I'm the wrong hero, and if I had my way, nobody else would have theirs. I'm the wrong hero, and if I screw up, it's your fault, but if you screw up, it's the judgment of God! I may not have money, but some things are more important than money. And when I think of them, I'll tell you. 
I live in pride, but I still have my poverty. I'm the wrong here, and I'm writing my own autobiography. It's an unauthorized autobiography, and I'm going to bend heaven and earth to see that it is never released. It's called Lies, Volume 1. It's a first edition. The second edition is called Lies and More Lies. I hate stereotypes. I hate stereotypes. I hate stereotypes. I'm too lazy to discriminate, so I hate everybody. I'm working on another book. Story of a schizophrenic. Not. My girlfriend was a French Canadian. If you want to know how I came to this sorry, sad spectacle that you see presented before your eyes, unwanted, I'm sure. Just consider, my girlfriend was a French Canadian. I thought I'd be open-minded. You see, I came from a planet far away, and I barely escaped its destruction. And as I was rocketing away from my dying planet, the first thing I thought was, I should have set a longer fuse. <laughs> and then I came here, and I went out with a French Canadian woman. Her hair kept me warm at night. Her Christmas presents were cheap. It was just a jar of aftershave. She didn't want me to kill mosquitoes because she said they were her national bird. She had delusions of grandeur. She wanted to be a wasp. I said to her, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? And by the way, will you marry me? And she said, vanilla, no. And then she said, where's my ice cream? I'm the wrong hero, and you're beginning to annoy me. You are beginning to annoy me because I hear them voices in my head driving me, making me nervous! Cabaret. 